drama about romantic love. The ambiguous focus. At the 10th anniversary party of our main characters, Zhang Zhe and Zhang Nan, Chimi bursts in and takes the latter away. Zhang Nan's departure shatters the remnants of his lover's love and faith. Despite the fact that many fans appear in his life, Zhang Zhe is stuck in the past and cannot move on. Hiding from his own memories, he returns to his hometown, but there he accidentally runs into Zhang Nan, who came to visit his mother. They say goodbye for the last time. Upon returning to Beijing, Zhang Zhe still tries to start a new life with someone else, but suddenly learns the news about the disappearance of Zhang Nan. But everything turns out to be not so simple. Interesting Facts in 2013, Mr. Zhang and Mr. Zhang, a novel about modern gay life, blew up the internet. Hundreds of different representatives and their life experiences in the gay community served as the prototype for characters and situations, of which the author of the novel, Wang Pao Xiao Pao, is also a part. He shows us everything they have to face, love, friendship, everyday passions and struggles that make a huge number of readers laugh, cry and, in the end, find their own reflection on the pages of this work. I watched this series with low expectations, I just thought it would be another cliché BL story. It surprisingly turned out to be more than this. Li Fang Huang and John Wu deliver an amazing acting, as a couple who discover that in spite of the very deep feelings they have for each other, many other important components are missing from their relationship. External forces gradually drive them to separation, at first as excuses to overcome, and later as means of realizing the deeper lying problems. What the story is about is their struggle to cope with reality and to patch things up with each other but primarily with themselves. No easy task. The plot is mesmerizing and most viewers will identify themselves with one of the two guys. Mind though, that at a second glance many questions remain unanswered, whether deliberately or accidentally, I cannot tell. The hero's actions are not always intuitive, not to say erratic, especially from a western society's point of view. There is also a constant underlying depressive ambience throughout all six episodes, which, although aesthetically superb, becomes tiring. In any case one must bear in mind that this is a different culture with different values and priorities. Watch it at your own risk, certainly not if you are feeling down. It will give you food for thought, but it will either draw you to a swirl of emotions leaving little place for your mind to work, or you will simply get bored from the onset. The movie The Ambiguous Focus was a huge hit when it was released. When we look back on the year 2017, it is impossible not to think about the premiere of this wonderful movie. In the cast we can find great actors and actresses like Li Fang Huang, John Wu. Each film director has his own style when it comes to producing feature films and Fanny Su's style is clearly reflected in this film. If you want to know the end you will have to go through 115 minutes, wonderful. It is the least interesting to stop to see this movie of China. When we analyze a movie, one of the most important parts to take into account is the script and in this case, it has come from the hand of Ryan Xia. With a great professional career, we find Shua Yuan who, together with a great team, have been in charge of putting music to the feature film. Within the seventh art that is cinema, we find photography that is in charge of deciding the frames, positions of the actors, movements of the cameras, in this case the person in charge of directing this entire process has been Jeff Wong. Each film is affected by many different factors so, although there are already many films that are of the drama, romance genre, it does not mean that it will be the same as others, far from it. <laughs>